All right, so let's go over those uh, warm-ups. Uh, I think they'll go quick, but by all means, stop me if we're, if we're stuck on one and you're not sure about what's going on there. Limit as x approaches negative 2 of, and then we have this piecewise defined function here, x squared plus 1 when x is greater than negative 2, x plus 8 when x is less than negative 2. So this is definitely not a direct substitution one because there's nowhere to substitute it in. In fact, this function at negative 2 is not even defined. It doesn't exist. So that's just kind of a side note that neither one of those has an equal sign, so the function doesn't exist anywhere. But the limit still might. So we want to come in from the left, come in from the right, and see what happens. So from the left, I'm just going to call it f of x instead of writing that whole thing again. From the left, that would be a little less than negative 2. So that would be on, on branch b here. So negative 2 plus 8 equals 6. So coming in from the left, we're headed toward 6. Coming in from the right, good morning. He yeah. is. Do you have a schedule? Oh, no, but I have You just have to have it to get in class. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. Thanks. So as x approaches negative 2 from the right, so a little bit more than negative 2, a little bit greater than negative 2, that would be on branch A. So the square of negative 2 plus 1, 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, those don't match. So that means this is, if we graph this thing, I really don't want to graph the whole thing, but one of them's at 5, one of them's at 6. Oops, they're both open circles, though. Let's see, from the left it was at 6, from the right it was at 5. So I don't know what they're doing, but there's no limit there. There's a jump there. So that limit, the answer would be D and E because they have different left and right limits. Number two. That might be the hardest one on the page, at least the one that takes the most writing. Limit as x approaches 4 of x squared minus 7x minus 18. Well, again, don't always remember to try to substitute first. So does that factor? Yeah. Does it matter? No, because all I need to do is plug in 4. And if nothing weird is going on, then that will give me the answer. So 4 squared minus 7 times 4 minus 18. And good news, in calculus, that's a safe stop. I mean, you need to leave that and be done with it. Most of you probably don't. You're not comfortable with that yet, and that's OK. But that is a safe stop, because the only thing left to do is, is arithmetic stuff, is, is stuff that predates calculus by a long way. My guess is most of you would work it out anyway. Negative 12 minus 18 would be negative 30. But if you stop there, that would be OK. You did the calculus, and that's what we're concerned with. Number three, limit as x approaches negative 5, x squared plus 3x minus 10 over x plus 5. Well, try direct substitution, but you see right away it's not going to work. You're going to get 0 in the bottom. So let's factor the top. Uh, it's probably going to have an x plus 5 in it so that it will cancel. x plus 5 and x minus 2. So the x plus 5s cancel. Now I can try my substitution. Negative 5 minus 2 would be negative 7. That means, if we think about the graph, that there's a hole there because the factors cancel. So I don't know what the graph looks like, but there's a hole at negative 5, negative 7. When x is negative 5, there's a hole at y equals negative 7. So the limit exists there, even though the function doesn't. 
number four. The min as x approaches two, x squared minus two x plus one. Well, square root, but I still think my first my first attempt is going to be substitution and see what happens. Four minus four plus one. And again, you could leave it like that, although with the square root, you have to be careful. You have to make sure you're not taking the square root of a negative number. But that's the square root of 1, which is 1. So we're good. Number 5. Limit as x approaches negative 1 of the absolute value of x minus 9. OK. Weird, but I'll just substitute. and. Get 10. So nothing crazy about that one. Number 6. This gets into what we did yesterday. Infinite limits. So shortcuts if you remember them. Top no, bottom O, equal co. Or you can still just substitute and see what happens. 7 over negative infinity. Right, because negative infinity minus 9 is still going to be negative infinity. 7 divided by a really, 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 really big number is pretty close to 0. And the shortcut way would be to say bottom O. And you can, you can shortcut that and just jump straight to 0. That's fine. <coughs> number 7, another infinite limit. So as x goes to infinity, that, that brings in the shortcuts. Top no, bottom o, equal co. And we talked about the, the long way would be divide everybody by x to the fourth. I don't want to do that. This is an equal co situation. x to the fourth, x to the fourth. Another way to think of it that's sort of in the middle of showing all the work and shortcutting it is when x gets really big, the only thing that matters are those terms, are the biggest terms, right? And when x gets really big, 3x to the fourth minus 7, the minus 7 doesn't really do anything. The only thing that matters are the big terms, and their ratio becomes negative 3 eighths equal co. And then the last one, since we don't have a top no yet, I'm going to guess that's it before I even see the problem. 2x cubed minus 1 over 5 minus 3x squared. Yeah, the top one's bigger. Uh, again, you can kind of reason your way through this. This is going to be infinity over infinity, but an x cubed is bigger than an x squared, so this is headed off to infinity so therefore, that limit does not exist. And if it doesn't exist, we don't really care if it's positive infinity or negative infinity. I think this one would be this one would be negative infinity, but again, it doesn't it doesn't really matter at that point because the limit doesn't exist. All right, so that's a that's a really good review of a of a chunk of stuff that'll be on the test.